Well, we are midway in our trip. Uh, we left Toronto and we are now in Prince Edward Island, a town called Mole River. So, we're not going too much further away from Toronto. Uh, we're starting to head our way back in a week or two. So this is a good time to have a quick review of the Hyundai Santa Fe's towing performance. The Hyundai Santa Fe we're using is a 2017 model. It's a 3.3 litre engine, V6 gas engine. And we've had uh, two people in it, me and my wife, um, with limited luggage. Now the Santa Fe as you know is rated to tow 5,000 pounds. It has a hitch weight of 500 pounds. The trailer which we selected to do this trip in is a KZ 18 foot 18 QB which is a queen bed and on the scales it comes in at just over 3,400 pounds so say 3,500 pounds which is its maximum load that it can carry. So the combined rig is about 8,000 pounds and if you check the manual uh, of the Santa Fe 9,000 pounds is uh, the maximum that you can do looking at the different uh, the front wheel axles, the rear wheel axles the, what the wheels can actually uh, carry, the tires can actually carry so we made sure that everything was within spec and as mentioned that the Honda Santa Fe is rated to tow 5,000 pounds and we're actually towing 3,500 the hitch weight that we have, or tongue weight that we have, the Santa Fe is rated for 500 pounds and the trailer with a little bit of adjustment is at about 460 hitch weight. We had to remove uh, the batteries from the tongue and we've had them installed inside the trailer under the dinette. Thank you Niagara Trailers, great job, working well. Now the Santa Fe, what we did to uh, improve the ride is we added airbags onto the rear suspension, Firestone airbags, and they were installed by CT Motorsports in Mississauga. Is this necessary? Well, let me stress that this is all a matter of opinion, and I'm not an expert, so this whole video is a matter of opinion. But in my opinion, it is necessary, and it has vastly improved the ride, not only with the trailer, but without the trailer as well. We have a blue ox weight distribution hitch which levels the trailer and uh, distributes the weight across all axles, the trailer and the vehicle's weight and this I think is necessary and it has a brake controller and again this is necessary, the trailer has electronic brakes which connect to the vehicle and therefore when you brake in the vehicle all the brakes including the trailer supply and I think this is stipulated in the manual of the Hyundai Santa Fe. Now the trip from Toronto to PER up here to Bull River covers all sorts of highways, all sorts of roads, um, we were on expressways, we were on highways, we were on secondary roads, we were on minor roads as well. The temperature was pretty mild I suppose, actually mild to cool so it's hard to comment on hot weather driving, whether the car would overheat. But it gave no indication at all that um, there was a heating problem. The needle was rock solid where it always is. So no issues there. However, I must say that uh, I'm towing on the expressways. Generally, we could only do about 90-95 when you got up to about 100 that the vehicle seemed to have enough power to go further um, and then we had a little bit of uh, shaking of the trailer even though with our setup uh, it was all set up correctly so I'm not too sure why that is. As well the vehicle travels mainly in fourth and fifth gear it does have a sixth gear the overdrive gear um, pretty much downhill or tailwinds or level it gets into the sixth gear. Nevertheless it does run quietly, it does run smoothly, so there's no issues with this. 
There is a manual override, so you can change the gears uh, and hold the vehicle in the gear. And this is sometimes useful if you're going down a fairly steep grade or you're trying to go up a fairly steep grade. You can use the vehicle brakes and hold the vehicle in, say, third gear for better braking or for, for, to make sure the automatic gearbox doesn't keep flipping from one gear to the other. But it is quiet and it is composed and you can tow quite happily at 80, 90, 95, even up to 100 kilometers an hour. Of course, we have uh, had a, a lot of wind all the way through Maine, Vermont, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and of course, here on Prince Edward Island. So possibly if there is less wind, because obviously a trailer, travel trailer, is susceptible to wind, and when the manufacturers give the towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, even though we have 3,500 pounds, they cannot obviously take into account wind resistance, buffeting from wind, the various aspects of that nature. Now I do feel that the airbags, as mentioned, are required um, for peace of mind on this. Hyundai doesn't stipulate that you have to do anything to the suspension. It says if you've got a 5,000 5,000 tank capacity and a 500 pound hitch weight, it should be good, but I find it sags quite a bit at the back, even with the weight, uh, uh, weight distribution, it lowers the whole vehicle, the airbags really work well. And it's essential that you do have a good weight distribution hitch and a good brake control. The Blue Ox seems to work well, uh, once you've got the setup specs right and you know each each time what you need to do it goes very easy and not a problem to do it. I mentioned as well there were only two people in the vehicle though the Santa Fe can carry seven it's got the third row option and there's a fair amount of luggage room we only had two people in the vehicle and limited luggage as well so all this would affect your gross vehicle weight and what you can tow and what you can't tow and obviously the performance this should be borne in mind as well. Now, in my opinion, as I say, purely my opinion, based on what I've mentioned earlier, with two people in the vehicle, limited luggage, airbags, weight distribution, brake control, a trade of 2,500, I think the Santa Fe performed very well. It uh, was quiet, it was comfortable, we've had no issues with it trailer just pulled along behind it nicely. We went through a number of twisty roads, no problem in the cornering, no problem going up fairly steep grades. We went up seven degree climbs in, in Vermont and down seven degree climbs. Not an issue there either. I don't know how it would handle in the Rockies. Wouldn't really like to try that. Um, nor would I like to try a 5,000 pound trailer behind it. But if you've got a smaller trailer, two persons, traveling light, then should not be an issue as well. Now, as a touring vehicle, when you uh, take the trailer off, because this is what we've been doing, we've been traveling, taking the trailer off, leaving it in, a, in, a, in, a, in an RV park, and then heading out on the road to see the sites, as a touring vehicle, I think the Hyundai Santa Fe 3.3 litre excels. Very comfortable, very quiet, and here the fuel consumption is running at about 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres to 8 litres per 100 kilometres. Whereas when you're towing, you essentially have 18 litres per 100 kilometres, and it can go as high as 20, 21, 22, depending on the terrain that you're going through, the wind resistance that you're facing. So, fuel consumption obviously when you're towing does become an issue. Uh, your range becomes a little bit more limited obviously then and you're going to make sure you have gas stations that you can stop at. But overall, very satisfied with the vehicle, very satisfied with the rig and we'll keep you updated how the rest of the trip goes. Thank you, take care.